Stream Minecraft without any extra software. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Help support OMG Craft with your Amazon purchases. Visit twit.tv slash Amazon, click on the Amazon banner, and shop as usual. That's twit.tv slash Amazon, and thanks for supporting the show. Hello, and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today, we are getting to your emails. We've been on an email roll lately. Hey, Chad. Can you do a video on how to start Twitch for Minecraft? This is submitted by Golden Chicken Nugget. This is a great question. As of Minecraft 1.7.4, users can use Minecraft to stream to Twitch. There's no need for any other software. Your Twitch chat will show up in your Minecraft chat, and Minecraft will stream your system audio as well as your mic. Now, before I try to do it, don't forget that you can help support the show by heading over to twit.tv slash Amazon, click on the Amazon banner on the side of the page, and shop as usual. That is a free way to support the show. Now, let me show it off. Yep. So first, look inside of Minecraft, go into Options, and there's this cool thing called Broadcast Settings. If you click into this, it'll tell you, whoa, nothing's available yet. And so you need to say rebind accounts. I had actually uh, unbound my account, so that's why it's saying rebound. For you, if you're starting out new, it'll say bind account. Go ahead and click this. This will take you to your Mojang account page. You do have to transfer your Minecraft account into a Mojang account, which means that you'll have to make your uh, what you sign into your email address instead of your Mojang username or the Minecraft username. And so now this will be what you sign in. That's a process in itself, but Mojang walks you through the steps. Next, you click View Account Settings. And right here, see this little Twitch button right here? Go ahead and click this, and it will bring you to Twitch. Now, I've set up my own little testing account because I don't want to uh, stream to my normal one. And once you log into Twitch with your account, you'll hit click Authorize, and success! Your Twitch account is now connected to your Mojang account. Now, you'll head back over to Minecraft, and you actually need to log out. So I need to go ahead and close out of even the launcher, and I'll need to sign... <laughs> I'll need to sign back in again. So go ahead and click into Minecraft. Go ahead and click play. And once the game loads in, you should now be signed in to, uh, to Minecraft again, which means that now, if you click on broadcast settings, sure enough, we have a whole bunch of settings for us to play around with. Here we have quality, which you can bring all the way up to 2.2. I like to keep it about uh, near default. Frame rate, Twitch can support up to uh, 60 frames a second. For me, I'll just bump it up to, let's say, 30. Your bandwidth, so if you have a faster upload speed, you can bring that up. You can also tell it to send metadata to Twitch. Uh, your mic volume, which is whatever your default computer mic is set at. Your system volume, and this will take the whole system. So if you're playing music in the background, or let's say you get a message on an instant message service, all of those noises will come through. So it's your system volume. You can decide if when you hit your uh, push to button, if it mutes, if it talks, uh, and you can toggle between those. And your compression between low, medium, and high. And this deals with video compression. Uh, you can also uh, enable uh, y your chat. So uh, will this do it only while streaming? Uh, will it keep your Twitch chat always? You can now, if, if someone, if your Twitch chat is, say, active, even when you're not streaming, um, you can see that. Or you could just turn it off all the way. You can filter if it's just uh, all the viewers, only the people who are subscribed to you, only your moderators, or back to all viewers. And then you can also choose which server that you stream to. It'll do sort of a little uh, uh, countdown here to see which one is the closest to you. I happen to know that San Francisco is great, so I'll go ahead and click that one. That's now my preferred, and I'll hit done. I can also reset if I don't want to, but I know I'm near San Francisco. Once we're done, there's one more thing that you want to check out. Go click your controls, because over here there are the controls on how to start streaming and how to stop streaming and a few other buttons. So for me, I have a pause stream and unpause stream set to F7. I also have start streaming set to F6. These are the defaults. Now, you also have a button if you want to show a commercial. 
you can. And then you can set uh, the duration of the commercial on Twitch's website. Right now, the default is 60 seconds. So uh, if I set that to a button, it would show a 60 second commercial when I hit one of the uh, keys on my keyboard. And also uh, you, the push to button. So push to mute or push to talk button. You can set that here. I have those as nothing. Go ahead and click done. And let's just load up anything. We can go to a, a single player world. I'm on the snapshot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just load up this traps map that I have. And then go ahead, once it's loaded in just a bit, uh, I'm going to start streaming. And this is actually going to show up on Twitch uh, so you can see it later. So I just installed Soundflower for Mac. I did this on a PC before, and I didn't realize that I had to install Soundflower. Let's see if it works. Are you sure? Yes. And there we go. So now I am streaming. Up in the corner, you can see that I am live. And if anyone was to actually go to twitch.tv slash OMG Chad underscore test, you'd be able to see this stream on that web page. Uh, and we'll probably show the video archive of what's going on. Now, this will depend on how fast your computer is. Your computer is now encoding video to send through the internet to Twitch. So it can be a little bit chunky, or if you don't have a very fast computer, it can be uh, difficult to, uh, to do that with a slower computer and make it look smooth and nice. Um, also, on my PC, I had an issue where my uh, microphone is mono, so it would only come through the left channel. And Minecraft, unfortunately, doesn't have a way to set that microphone as a mono microphone uh, so it doesn't come through just a single channel. So there are a few sacrifices with streaming this way. You can also see over here in my chat, I just signed in on another account. I can say, hey, man, and you'll see right before that, it puts that this has come in from Twitch, the username of the Twitch user, and I could click here to manage the user if I wanted to. So if I wanted to ban him, promote him to moderator, which I'll do. Hey, how about that? I just uh, added OMG Chat as a moderator. Um, uh, I can also ignore, timeout, unban, uh, that sort of thing, which is really nice from within the Minecraft uh, window. You can moderate your chat room just from within Minecraft. You can also see underneath the recording, ever <laughs> since we've started, uh, there are eight people watching uh, the stream. And uh, I think Karsten might even have the web page up. So you can see this is my perspective. And then that is uh, the perspective that I was just recording uh, just a second ago, Twitch does delay a few seconds. One also nice thing is that Minecraft will uh, it take some really nice tolerances when it comes to window size. So if I was to uh, hit escape and then drag my window to be really tall, hey, chat room, there's a chat room back there. Uh, if you cut back to Twitch, uh, after a while, you'll be able to see that <laughs> uh, I'll do that live. But it will keep the, uh, the game uh, the same. So it kind of does some blinkiness. And then it stretches it out. So uh, if for some reason you have a monitor that, that uh, you know, is kind of weirdly shaped, uh, you can still stream Minecraft. It'll look weird. I mean, that looks obviously very weird. But uh, it will take those tolerances. Another cool feature is that you can pause the stream. So I'm going to hit F7. You can see up in the upper corner, it says that, it, uh, that the stream has been paused for me. And then if you cut back to Twitch uh, after a while, obviously we have to wait for the delay. Um, when I pause the stream on their perspective, it will put up a really cool animation. See, the, the stream is paused, no one can hear what I'm saying, and you get that cool little Twitch animation. Yep. And that is how you stream to Twitch in Minecraft. If you would like to subscribe to the show, you can do so at youtube.com. Oh, wait. Uh, you actually had one more question in your email. If we could go back to the email. You asked me to uh, work it. Huh. OK.